Oh, no way. Then there's no. I'm looking at you, Jim. I'm gonna hear the name and I'm gonna get PTSD. But the cream rises to the top for oh, you. Yeah. You know, it's pretty funny. We talk about the cream rising to the top from the uh, late great Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, the cream did rise to the top this year, and it's Adam Fox. Adam Fox was shunned by uh, some voters out of the Calder voting last year. He finished fourth place in votes. Should have at least been a finalist, if not a winner. Um, I understand why people voted for Kale McCarr, but Adam Fox won the Norris Trophy. And Fox for Norris turns into hashtag Fox won Norris. And obviously, you know, Chris Jury's got, you know, things to look into with possibly trying to get him signed to a new deal this offseason. I think he will. But uh, Adam Fox winning the Norris is huge, becomes the fourth defender in Rangers history to win it. The other three being Doug Harvey, Harry Howell, and Brian Leach. Um, and he just carries on a line of tradition. And Adam Fox really has the potential to be a Hall of Fame defender. He's one of three defenders to win the Norris before the age of or at 23 years or younger. He's the only other defender to win the uh, Norris Trophy on a uh, ELC contract in the salary cap era. Eric Carlson, who was also one of the other two defenders to win it before a, uh, age 23 or younger. The other obviously being the great Bobby Orr, then he considered the best ever. Um, and another stat that another uh, a lot of people didn't know about is Adam Fox is the only defender in the history of the NHL to win the Norris Trophy on a non-playoff team. Sure, it's a short season. There's never been a non-playoff team defender to win the Norris Trophy. Just think about that. So what Adam Fox did, I know, again, short season, but it's truly special. Uh, the Rangers have a guy that wanted to be here, clearly wanted to be here. They went out. And they traded for him a year earlier. They could have, in this previous offseason, the 19, the 2020 offseason, they could have gotten him for free. Probably would have signed as a free agent with them. But Jeff Gordon, in one of his good moves, went and gave up two second round picks to Carolina, which ended up being Noel Goodler and Jameson Rees. Good prospects, not great, good, solid prospects. And I don't think either of them will have the impact that Adam Fox is having already at this point. And again, 23 years old, two years into his career, he has more than enough time to win more Norris trophies because to me, this is the greatest crop of defensemen we've seen since the 80s into 90s crop that had Bork, Chelios, Coffey, Housley, Leach, uh, Suter, McInnes, uh, Blake, that group that went from the 80s into the 90s, that was probably the greatest crop of defenders ever. So to me, this is the greatest crop since then. We have a golden age of defenders. Adam Fox is right near the top of that. Right now, he's the king of the mountain. Um, he's the guy at the top, and everybody else has to look to knock him off right now. Incredible season. Couldn't be happier for him. Uh, did a lot of things. He's in some rare air right now. And looking forward... He has a great career ahead of him. Hopefully, he takes a nice hometown discount, which I think he will, and he stays a Ranger. But the Rangers have a ton of other pieces in the system that can come out and help support him. And Ryan Lindgren, uh, you know what? Great partner for him. And he could be his partner for a very long time, kind of like how Jeff Boogaboo was to Brian Leach. So, it, you know, the award ceremony... Brian Leach presenting the trophy was sort of like a proverbial passing of the torch. It was great to see. I know a lot of Ranger fans got excited. And I think if you're a Ranger fan and you were watching that, you kind of knew Adam Fox was the winner at that point because they wouldn't have brought on Brian Leach for that. So uh, the, the Rangers are in great hands. It, 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 it's just one of those times where everything lined up right for the Rangers because, you know, obviously in the past, you could talk about Alexei Sharapanov how he fell to them and everybody thought that that was going to be just a great pick and he was going to turn out to be a superstar and he had the world ahead of him and his untimely passing and you know what now this is one of those things where it lined up it just it's lined up perfectly and it's it's gone even better than anyone could have expected so congrats to adam fox 
Long Island's own. And, uh, you know, I, I couldn't be happier for the kid. Um, I've talked about this on um, on uh, the when Adam Fox won the Norris Trophy with you, that, yes, he's one town over in Jericho. I actually, uh, after high school, I was working for a newspaper around here, and I used to cover the Jericho ice hockey team, Jericho basketball. But um, the uh, a friend of mine who I play – on my hockey team with my friend Chris Rupp looked at me and said, there's this kid, Adam Fox, that's now on the Rangers. He basically single-handedly won Jericho a championship back when he was there. And he has been, if it's possible to even say better than advertised, I loved his game last year. And I thought he should have gotten more recognition for the Calder Trophy. Um... But, you know, credit, hands, hands, credit to Cal McCarr. He's doing it well, too. And I have a feeling that Cal McCarr played a full season. Uh, Fox won the one. Because there's, I don't want to use the term an anti-American bias. But there's the, there's definitely a Canadian bias, if, especially if they had a good career at Canadian Juniors. Looking at you, Carey Price, that you're going to hear about them for the rest of their career. So, um... Adam Fox, great. He is a great foundation for this team. He has got the perfect um, defense pairing partner with uh, Ryan Lindgren. Now it's just a matter of filling in the rest of the blanks. And God help the league when the Rangers do that. Uh, Because if you bring in Nils Nils Lundqvist and he's as good as Adam Fox or as good as we've been advertising, and then you get the right defense partner for him, not a uh, Libor Hayek or somebody like that, then let's then they, that team is going to tear it up. So if there's that much chemistry with the next guy, that's it. Uh, Anthony, any thoughts on Adam Fox? You know, my, my first thought was um, great. The Rangers really got lucky this guy. He played his way out of Carolina. The Rangers took advantage of it. And it's funny because it almost reminds me of. Um, I don't remember the what year it was, but it was it was a long time ago. Um, uh, Tim Erickson didn't want to play for Calgary. He wanted to play for the Rangers, um, and the Rangers traded for him. And I know a lot of a lot of Ranger fans were happy. You know, they they were hyping Erickson, and um, Erickson flopped. He ended up not being a not being a very good player. Um, this time around. It totally spun in, in the other direction. Adam Fox has proved to be the goods, um, and you know, good good for the Rangers to, to have a guy like him want to come play for your team and then also deliver with his play on the ice. Um, you know, he's I, I don't think he's he's not as flashy as Cal McCarr. Cal McCarr, the way like the way he skates and the way he stick handles, Cal McCarr is like almost looks like a forward at times. But Adam Fox is a spectacular defenseman. Um, there's no doubt about it. He's very smart. Um, he doesn't very often put himself in, you know, air, uh, put himself prone to being, you know, hit with that big hit. Um, he's a very heady hockey player. And, you know, barring some unforeseen injury, he's going to be a stalwart on the Rangers for, for years to come. And um, having a rock like, like him back on your blue line, that's the foundation to winning. Um, you need to have guys like that. So. Um, you know, he's, he's fun to watch, and I think he's going to be good for a very long time for the Rangers. We're lucky to have him. I'm going to go back to that. Sorry, I'm going to go back to that comment again. Is Alexiak righty or lefty? Uh, Alexiak, I believe, is left side. Uh, Lundqvist, unfortunately, is the, the right side. He's not. All right, so just flip Alexiak and Lundqvist, and that's yeah, and that's, that still works. I think Alexiak's going to command at least like four million, and he probably deserves it. He's he's good. He's he's more of a top four guy than he is a bottom pairing guy. Um, as for Adam Fox, this absolutely cements his Olympic spot. Absolutely cements it. Oh God, yes. It, it, before you were having NHL Network during the year do their projected rosters, and Adam Fox was like a six seven sometimes not even mentioned on Olympic rosters. Adam Fox is making the Olympic team now. There's no way he's not. Yeah. And also, um, does this give Ryan Lindgren a chance of being on there? Because you talk about trying to keep defense partners together. No. 
Okay. Not, unfortunately not. It, it, I, I, listen, I love Ly Ryan Lindgren. I think he's great. I think what he is is what people wanted Dan Girardi to be. A better skater who can actually move the puck, give you a little bit of offense here and there. Sands that to Luke. Their outlet passes too. An eight season, I should say, where he had like 10 goals and like 20-something points. But <clears throat> Lindgren is what people wanted Girardi to be. And he's good in that role with Fox, and he's just the perfect fit. But the USA has just too many good young defensemen to have Ryan Lindgren get past. Adam Fox is just, he's a different, yeah. And USA definitely does have a shot at gold. I absolutely you know, agree. I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure that the NHL is going to go to the Olympics. I don't know if it was Frieden or Drigger uh, like two weeks ago. They were talking about how it's still in discussions, but they brought up a good point. Being that they already announced the All-Star Games in Vegas, um, and being how we had lost the last part of the 1920 season because of the pandemic, and this year the 56 game season, um, are they really going to want to shut down for a week for the All Star Game and then shut down for another three weeks for the Olympics? I'm not, I'm not so sure the NHL players are going to go to the Olympics. I'm, I'm, I'm really not. They might not. And let's circle back to that after the editorials and before we do our Q and A, um, <clears> because <throat> that's a that's a big topic we have to talk about. And whether or not they should go is also a different story. Yeah. This last one, uh, John. Uh, do I think Fox can reach leech status? Uh, that's going to be tough. I mean, it depends on how many Norris trophies he wins. He's more than capable of winning another one or two. Um, I don't know if I think he will be the dominant offensive defender that Leach was. Because you got to remember, Leach is one of five defensemen in NHL history to break the 100 point mark. The other four being Orr, Coffey, Popkin, and uh, Al McInnes, who actually did it the year before Leach did. But um, he's Leach was a special, special defender. And I would push for Brian Leach being a borderline top 10 defender of all time. That's just my opinion. But um, it's going to be tough. Again, it depends on Norris's, but. I mean, if anybody's got a shot of getting to that level and be, being considered that that real good two-way defender, it is Adam Fox. I'll tell you that. Well, what do you think about the rising uh, star of Adam Fox winning the Norris Trophy? Can you still say he's rising after winning the Norris Trophy? Yes, you can, because Adam Fox will get better. That's who Adam Fox is. Um, how how about the, how the Rangers is set up? And we're going to talk more about USA in a few more minutes. Put everything down in the comments below. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.